IEDs uh, are a tremendous danger in today's battlefield. We've seen their use increase globally over the last years, and we expect that trend to continue into the foreseeable future. The improvised explosive device, IED problem, is global, growing in extent and intensity, and showing no signs of abating. And what we saw in Iraq um, for years was the use of conventional ordnance, i.e. military-grade weapons uh, that were left over from Saddam's regime, uh, modified to create the intended effect. What we've seen more and more in Afghanistan is a use of homemade explosives using fertilizer-based compounds to create the desired effect. The timing of the research is really the crucial piece of this, and it's because we really need to get ahead of the threat. We need to outpace that threat uh, and, and intercept where it's planning to go. For the greater protection of our armed forces, the Office of Naval Research, ONR, is supporting the science and technology development that will help counter the threat of IEDs now and into the future. And the challenges for combating IEDs are many. The big challenge of the IED is that there is no single silver bullet. Long-term solutions to the IED are going to involve multiple modalities, multiple technologies brought together that are complementary, and they're going to be both technical and non-technical. The best non-technical sensor in the world is a dog's nose, and adapting to the changing threat is a challenge the dog program also faces. How do we adapt that asset to meet the changing mission threat and environment that we find ourselves in. ONR's research discovered that dogs suitable for IED detection are very different from traditional military police dogs. They must be sociable, non-aggressive, and independent. Hunting dogs, like the Labrador Retriever, are just as at home working off-leash with infantry units in Afghanistan hunting hidden IEDs. The ONR Counter IED team is multifaceted and comprehensive. The program is known as Sciences Addressing Asymmetric Explosive Threats, or SAIT, and has four major tenets. Anticipate effect, detect, neutralize, and mitigate. Anticipate effect, and that is looking at different aspects of human behavior that we can try to understand better than we currently do and to get the insurgent networks that are behind the IED in many areas around the world. The IED is one of the most effective and lethal weapons of the terrorist. One of the key solutions lies in understanding the motives behind planting IEDs. Ivy Estabrook's work merges the social sciences aspect with technology solutions to better understand the why. What are the influences, motivations, intentions of the people who plant IEDs, how do we influence them before they go down the road of becoming radicalized and choosing to be involved in um, IED acts? There is a detect tenet, which is looking at the ability to detect explosive compounds as well as explosive devices from a safe standoff range, say 100 meters or more. We found that uh, there are very unique frequency regimes that are emitted by different kinds of explosives like sandstone marble, um, HMX containing things, military kinds of explosives, as, as well as homemade types of explosives like ammonium nitrate. While future standoff detection solutions are in the works, right now the dog provides the best detection ONR can provide the warfighter. From that initial 21 dogs that were fielded in Al Anbar province in 2007, the Marine Corps now has 247 dogs with 140 in theater, probably as we speak, and are on their way up to, they've just increased their requirements to over 500. There is a uh, neutralize tenet where we're looking at new ways of uh, neutralizing the devices or neutralizing the explosive compounds from, a, again, from a safe standoff distance. We knew that from our previous experience, our previous research, that high power microwaves, compact pulse power could play a role in defeating uh, IED technology. Finally, there's a mitigate tenet that is 
our last line of defense, we're looking at new materials for personal protective equipment, body armor, ballistic glass, bulletproof glass, those kind of applications, eventual applications. Down the road, we're, we're trying to protect the soldiers, sailors, and Marines. So uh, it is critical that we develop those technologies now that are adaptive so that we can outpace the threat then. Counter IED technology, one of the things you need is very compact systems. You can no longer have a system that takes up a large room. It needs to be able to fit in a Humvee. It needs to be man portable. ONR's research is already making a difference on the battlefield. Uh, Marine Corps has had tremendous success with the IED detector dog program. We are developing radio frequency components and subsystems that are almost beyond the cutting edge uh, so that we can integrate those into future systems. We have several examples where um, understanding or knowledge that's been developed out of some of our programs has been informing current operations in Afghanistan. ONR, by engaging the IED problem scientifically, prioritizing their investments and increasing the research knowledge base is contributing to enduring solutions that will be resistant to adaptation. ONR support is extremely important. Without ONR support, uh, we simply couldn't afford to do the kind of research we're doing today. Research that will help protect our sailors and Marines now and in the future. They're risking their lives every day, and the only risk I have is in my commute to work. The best that I can do is sit at my desk and do what I can, which is develop the capabilities to protect them. Our measure of success for this program is going to be when Marines and sailors have knowledge of these IEDs in terms of location, in terms of who's been emplacing them, how to avoid them, how to neutralize them, because when we do that, the bad guys are going to move on to something else. The Navy and Marine Corps is doing a lot to respond to the immediate challenges of IEDs but it's imperative that we institutionalize long-term strategies and solutions to take that strategic weapon of choice away from our enemies.